I would say that at least half of the people who follow what I'm doing are post-Christian, agnostic, post-atheist, people who are find themselves in between, where they, they somehow are dissatisfied with the nihilistic pr- propositions of atheism, but they do not not quite sure where to go, or else they feel like they've been disillusioned by a kind of fundamentalist Christianity, and they're wondering what to do, where to go, and those are the kinds of people that seem to be attracted to what I'm doing. Interesting. So a lot of even non-Christians, to say nothing about just non-Orthodox Christians... Yeah, and so a lot of a lot of neo pagans, a lot of uh, agnostics, uh, people interested in things like cognitive science or philosophy, theories of emergence. All of this stuff is th- that's the kind of people that are interested in my in my work. Yeah, and I, I notice you often like to say symbolism happens, and you know, you'll often when you say that, <laughs> like you'll you'll have a picture of just something that just happened somewhere or whatever, you know, or some random found object or whatever. But I mean, I would also say, just like given this kind of phenomenon we're talking about, you have all these non Christian. Uh, people in your audience that meaning happens of course and and so we can't escape it there you know that that people might be dedicated to being nihilists but it's kind of almost impossible to actually be yeah you know so it is it's, it's technically impossible to be a nihilist it's it's not even a philosophical question because the world it, it has to do with a, the problem of how many things are in the world the world is combinatorially explosive. That is that every phenomena has a million facets to it and it has an indefinite amount of facets to it. And as conscious beings, we have to pattern. We have to see the world through patterns or else we, we, we wouldn't be able to see it because even a cup or a microphone or, or a, a speck of dust has a million details. Mm. And so we have to pattern. And that pattern is not subjective. It is not random. It is the pattern of reality. And it is the pattern that we that originates in the logos, in the divine logos. And so it, it is really technically impossible for there to be no meaning. <laughs> yeah. And I, I would observe, you know, as having been a pastor and still in a sense doing pastoral ministry, that attempts to pull away from that, which people can do that. I mean, we can we can try to pull away from meaning, but that they're always destructive to the human person individually and even to whole societies. Yeah, because you can't pull away from meaning. The only thing you can do is twist, fragment, break apart larger um let's say cohesive meanings and that is death that is the very process of death and so as you as you enter into a nihilistic point of view you tend to to tumble down a hill you know in your own consciousness and and in your own life yeah 